welcome to Oliver Edmonton. This is Edmonton's most densely populated neighborhood. In fact, it is Alberta's most densely populated neighborhood. Oliver is named after Frank Oliver, resident businessman and politician, and is one of the places that has great things to see in Edmonton from the river valley to great shopping to lots and lots of condos. Uh, Oliver is bordered by the North Saskatchewan River to the south, 105th Ave to the north, where the old CN rail yard used to be, uh, 124th Street to the west, and downtown over to the east. What is there to do in Oliver? Well, eating is our favorite thing to do. Uh, you can go to Clementine, Elm Cafe, Brew, our personal favorites, our Chibo Bistro, mostly because we love going there so much we feel like Lisa and Rosario truly treat us like family when we're there. Uh, we are also kind of hooked on Grand and Fish and Chips and The Common which is a great place to go if you want to kind of relax at the end of a long week. Uh, Sicilian Pasta Kitchen is a long time carb loading favorite. It's super good and Love Pizza is also phenomenal for a quick pizza uh, or their beet salad is also one of my favorites. Oliver is a great example of a walkable neighborhood in that you can literally do everything here without getting into a car and that includes shopping. There are great resources here for grocery shopping. You have the more traditional Safeway Save On Foods and you also have the new city market in the brewery district. Shops in Oliver include the Maker's Keep, Made Local Society, uh, which sell really great little like home decorations and that sort of thing made in Edmonton. There's Structube, Who Cares for Clothing. And one of our other favorite things to do is head to the Gallery District and check out some of the beautiful art by local artists in Bear Claw Gallery, Snap, Scott Gallery, Harcourt House, and Front Gallery. Grandin is also the heart to schools. There's Nellie McClung Junior High and Grandin School which offers both a French immersion and a Spanish bilingual program. Nellie McClung is a really interesting school named after Nellie McClung, whose statue is actually right there. Uh, she is one of five women who were responsible for women getting the right to vote in Alberta. So, fun things to do in Oliver. You're looking at it. Take a walk along Victoria Promenade with beautiful views over the Victoria Golf Course of the river, universities across the way. It's one of those perfectly defined walkable spaces because you have so much room away from the road. You don't feel like you're surrounded by noisy cars. There's a one-way traffic. There's a special designated bike route, trees, plus lots of benches and great spots to sit. Uh, for nightlife, you can go to 9910 or the Common, and there are lots of LGBTQ bars that are in Oliver as well. One last thing that you can do in Oliver is head down and check out the Peace Garden Community Park or some of the other parks. There's actually a few playgrounds and places to hang out with the kids in Oliver as well. If you were to live in Oliver, you would probably live in a condo. Uh, in Oliver, there is an abundance of condos. They were built uh, starting in about the 1960s were the earliest condos in Oliver. There were a lot built kind of in the 70s, 80s boom, a lot of high rises that were built then. And then you see a little bit of a lull and a whole bunch of new developments that are happening now, like the Pearl Tower, uh, which is one of the newest buildings in Oliver, as well as some of the in-between luxury buildings that have been refurbished and really loved and cared for over the years. You can either have a view of downtown, of the city, or these buildings along here, there's the Fairmont, uh, some of the most gorgeous views of the River Valley that you can possibly get are all here in Oliver. Hope you enjoy the tour.